This is THV 11. Well, welcome back. It's a bird known for its beal and its color. Yeah, we're talking about this week's uh, bird of the week. It's the roseate <laughs> spoonbill. Spoon right. I messed it up. Sarah <laughs> Baxter with Arkansas Game and Fish joins us to uh, tell us more about this bird. And Sarah, we're told there is a region here in Arkansas where you can get a peek of this particular bird. Right. So this is a bird that um, can be found every year in Arkansas, though in low numbers. The highest count ever in one place at one time is 128 birds. So compared to a lot of other birds, it's very, very small numbers. Um, they're here in the fall. So late July through about early October, and you can see them in southeast Arkansas, primarily oh, Deche and Chico counties. Yes, and this bird is gorgeous. It's a really large-sized wading bird. Um, it's related to the herons and the egrets, and obviously it's pink, where, which is roseate, and then it's got that yeah. crazy-shaped bill. Um, I was going to say, that it seems like it di differentiates it from a flamingo. Yes, uh-huh, and a lot of people maybe have, have seen this bird and thought, oh, it's a flamingo, but we don't have flamingos in Arkansas ever. Yeah. Um, so, roseate spoonbills, we do have. And well, we, what we do at the zoo. <laughs> right, <laughs> if you see one in Arkansas, it's an escapee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they, what they do with that bill is they use it, they'll, they just go along in shallow water and they scoot their head back and forth with their bill into the water and kind of use that bill to... Um, Strain out fish and they're crustaceans. Filtering, they're filtering yes, out. exactly. And that's how it gets its color, color, right? From what it yes. eats. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. They're pink because they eat crustaceans, like little Ooh. shrimp and crawfish in Arkansas, and those crustaceans have been feeding on algae, and so that is what deposits into their feathers and makes them pink. And the male <laughs> has a different color. I don't know if you mentioned that, right? The male is just slightly darker and larger than the female, but actually the adults are a different color than the young. Um, the younger kind of the same color pattern but much paler because they haven't eaten as much of the crustaceans and whatnot to get as much of the pink color deposited in their feathers. I see and if we want to see this here in Arkansas it's found what down south? Is down it? in southeast Arkansas, Arkansas, Arkansas along the Mississippi River uh, levee and Deche and uh, Chico counties especially along those borrow ditches um, are great places to look like okay. and, and if you don't if you go this weekend and you don't see them this time try another day because they're hit or miss you can't guarantee seeing them in any one place right. at any one time you know something else that's a very difficult to pick up is, is another bird here at Arkansas. Let's bring Theba, Theba Lolly, come on in here, one of our THV employees who happened to be on a bike ride yesterday and happened to look up at the sky and saw this winged creature with a white head. Yes, Theba. I know I was so excited because I've been on a quest to find this bald eagle that I heard was down during the river, at the oh, river, and that I go on bike uh, rides, that's a hawk. That's the hawk. So I've gotten some hawks and some turkey buzzards but this eagle was like, he was huge. And I wasn't sure yet, but the way the sun was setting, boom. You got that bright white head and that bright and white tail. It's unmistakable. And you said your heart started to beat a little? I actually cried because <laughs> I was so excited. And I, I just carry a little Cool Picks camera with me. So I had one shot at him because he's so big and fast. Well, let's find out if, if, they're, if they're flying about now, Sarah, if they're looking for places to go, or is this just an eagle that maybe found a home here? It's, well, it's just an eagle, and we have the Arkansas River here, and eagles like water, so I it's not fish. surprising to see one. Um, I've seen three flying at one time in downtown Little Rock over the river, and they're they're here, and people can see them. You just got to look up. And Diva said that one was just hanging around for like a couple days? or. Well, he'd been down there for a while. My boss spot him at, at Rebsman Golf. Okay. And I didn't expect to see him at two rivers, mm -hmm. and uh, I wasn't even looking for him. I was just looking for deer, and I like to take pictures of everything. And then I looked up, and it was this massive creature, and I thought, well, he's bigger than a turkey sure, buzzard. Sure, sure. And so I pedaled so fast, like a crazy, <laughs> I was a danger to everybody. <laughs> Took my bike, got off, got my camera, and boom, and wasn't sure if I'd caught him. Uh, what are you on the hunt for next? I don't know now. Was that your dream? <laughs> that was, that's been my dream this, this year, for sure. Would it be a dream or a nightmare if, if the eagle happened to fly in the weather garden and hang out with Joey? Well, you know, I got a cool hawk in the weather garden once, but he was, Joey's too big for him, but he was hanging out on yeah. our tower. Yeah. I shared that with him. And you if you've guys. ever wondered, among other duties, she takes this care of Joey's, Joey's mama. Yes. Slash angel. <laughs> yes, that would be the person. So the hawk was not a danger to Joey, I promise. <laughs> I have researched it. Good enough. We thank you, Sarah Baxter and Eva Lolly. Thank you. We'll be right back with the last check of weather.